Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for another Heyday video. Now it's Farm Pass time and it's time for me to give you the information about what is coming in the August Farm Pass. As the month of July draws to a close we move into the month of August and there is a beautiful summer theme coming to the game. Now to a certain extent some parts of this farm pass are pretty cool, other aspects of it I think yeah, are mediocre. Overall I'm not overly impressed with this one, I think it could be a lot better, but let's go through the main information. We know there's chick vouchers, we know there's coins, we know there's experience points. We also know that there are boosters that we get as we're progressing along the road. Depending on the road that you go for, whether it's free to play or paid, player you're going to get different kinds of rewards and different kinds of items now for me I like the perks that's my main reason uh, in addition to the decoration and the hat that I buy the farm pass I think it's value for money at the end of the day even if it's not always as nice as I would like it to be so the perks are very cool now the free perk this time is a building boost building boost are nice they give you the opportunity to add more items to your production giving you the chance to produce more goods I just wish the variation were little bit better. Now some items are going to be the same by the pay road and the free road and in this case that is the sand path. Now this bit I like because I want more of these for my beach. So free road is five pieces, paid road is five pieces so in total there's the opportunity to get ten of those. You've also got some decoration on both roads on the beach board is on the free road so free road has a very nice decoration i like this one i've got this one in my town already it's a nice simple design and i think it does look good for the paid road we've got this beach kites now this one's okay but i kind of prefer the free road one a little bit better again i've got both of these deco pieces uh, within my beach design so what i'm going to do is to show you all three items that we're getting there and you can see them in my town here now i've extended my beach at the back there is a one wonderful stream that we did where I designed all this and put this together. You can see some of the new decoration down there as well. That is the kite decoration in comparison to the other pieces you've got there. It's okay, it's nice, I like it, but at the end of the day I do prefer the surfboard design one a little bit more. So there you can see the surfboard, I think that's so much more cooler. I will definitely like to have two of those together so my actual surfers can come out there, wax their boards after they've been joined a nice little drink in the beach hut. You can see the sand pieces there mixed in with the regular path pieces so I need to replace the regular path pieces with the sand pieces and I'd be very happy indeed. I've mixed in some of the other decoration that's currently within the game and there will be more opportunities this week to get even more decoration. I wonder what else is going to be coming within the game of heyday for this summer period because summer has basically just started for us we'll have to wait and see. Now one deco I do like for the game is the chick deco and I think the chick deco is pretty cool and I do like this chick deco that we are getting this time. So the chick deco we are going to be getting is called the tourist attraction. Now I really do like this one. I think this one's going to go very very nicely within my actual town design or maybe I might add it to a beach aspect as well so I'm not quite sure where I'll put it but I've placed both pieces down there in the dev build imagery here you can see what they look like when they're at both angles you can see the actual chicks taking photos as well yeah, so again a very very nice bit of deco there I've placed the path pieces around there for size comparison so it gives you a good indication of what size they are and what they actually look like I'm not sure which direction you prefer but I do like it now another one I do like and this is the one that I really am interested in and this is for my hat collection. I like this one, it's called the Lobster Shower Cap and I do like lobsters and I do like the colour red so it's going to be perfect. I'm going to dress up my cows in this case, so you can see my cows down there and you've got ones that are waiting to be collected, you've got ones that are moving around and ones that are sleeping waiting to be fed. You can see what the hat actually looks like on them. Now my collection for hats is increasing nicely because uh, I'm in the dev build I can't actually show you what the hat collection looks like because there's a lot more in there that I I know that you don't know just yet but if you want to change the design for your animals whether it's summer clothing or no clothing or hat then just bring down the actual hanger that you just saw there right that's the farm pass do you like it are you impressed with it do you think it's going to be nice are you satisfied why not comment down below 
Personally, I think it's not the best one at the end of the day. I like some of the pieces, but we will see how much XP and coinage I get as I start playing. If you would like to support me, please do use my code. It's R3DKNIGHT in the green box. Just tap the C and it will jump you straight to it. Additionally, you can also support one of the other content creators, so pick and choose your favorite content creator and type in their code before you make the purchase for the farm pass. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, watch some of my videos, and if you need any information about the Supercell ID, please do check out my playlist with all of the information. But either way, I'll see you next time. Bye now.